there guys welcome back so this is the big build that i was talking about in my previous video this build is so big that it will be a two-part video series for this video we will do first the terrain the landscaping and the exterior of the house so for this one my concept is like the as the title says it is a hidden villa I wanted to build the mountain and then camouflage the house on the mountains. It will look like that there were no house at all when you are at the top of the mountain. So for this one at the front of the house, there is a driveway towards the top of the mountain. Once you were there, you wouldn't see the house. There will be just a pavilion and a parking space on the topmost floor of this house. It is like you wouldn't know that you are already stepping on the house. I really like that idea. In my college days, I really wanted that idea that we incorporated it in our thesis. The building in our thesis is there is a pathway leading towards the top of the building. And then that pathway is actually a part of the building. It is actually when you are walking there, you are actually walking on top of the building. I really like that idea. This house is, we can say, my ideal house or a dream house actually. As I was searching for cliff houses or green roof houses, I saw this house that is featured on one of these popular TV show somewhere in America. I think it is what I have in mind. It really looks like what I envisioned in my mind. Actually, this house, I can imagine that it can be located somewhere in Switzerland or New Zealand where it is in the colder side of the world. But here, as this lot is on the Oasis Spring World, so I just imagine it to be like there's a mountain and then there's a cove leading to the beach, which is a very sandy. You can actually place this lot in Sulani. I think it will be very good because of the ocean that is there, because of the beach. It will be really good. For this build, I'm gonna discuss the floor plan. At the topmost, as I said, there will be a pavilion and a parking area. So that pavilion is like the reception area for the office, which is on the next floor. We will call it the level one and the next others, the next floors will be the level two and three. For the ground area for the topmost part, the level of the driveway, there will be a reception leading towards the office. There are actually two entrances for this house, or actually three. The third one will be the from the other side, from the beach. But this one, the first entrance is for the public, which leads to the showroom of the office on the lower floor. So the other one is a private one, which is gated, so you can lock it for it to be only accessible by your sim. It will lead directly to the foyer of this house. And for the next floor, the level one, it will house the office of the owner of the house. The owner of this house is a furniture or industrial designer. He was able to found his own business in the furniture industry. So his business boomed and he was able to afford this kind of house to be able to construct it. Of course, he will have his own office in this house. The office will have a showroom for the furniture designs and it will have a conference room. Also, his own private office. The office and the conference room will have a view of a garden, which is actually a rooftop garden, which is actually the roof of the lower floor. So it will be like that. It will look like the terraces, like the popular Banawe rice terraces here in the Philippines. I really wanted to incorporate that concept here because of the slope of the mountain. It is like a 30 degree slope. I really wanted it to look like the mountain, like it is really part of the mountain, like it is already embedded there when it is constructed. It is actually beautiful. I really also wanted to incorporate that concept here to maximize the views. 
I really wanted to have this kind of louvers thing for the facade of the house. So I looked and I searched for something in the debug items, but I ended up finding this really cool fences, I think. They are really elegant looking, so I think they can fit in a build that is like a mansion. So I placed them as the fences of this house because I think they have this vibe of a mansion. <laughs> For the level 2, it will be the sleeping area, like the sleeping floor of the whole house. It will have the master's bedroom and then the other two bedrooms, the bedroom 1 and 2. can be a girl's bedroom and a boy's bedroom. You can actually add more bedrooms here because the bedrooms that I placed here are spacious and they also have their own bathrooms. You can actually convert it to add another one or two more rooms so that you will have three to four bedrooms aside from the master bedroom and of course you can also just put a common bathroom. The sleeping area will have this in the interiors a very beautiful views of the rocks inside. So actually when you are inside, when you are in the interiors of the house, the rocks of the mountains, you will actually see them and it will really look beautiful. I really wanted it to be like you are really in a mountain, like you are embedded in the mountain. Moving on, on the level 3, this is the main living area of the house. This floor will have the living, dining, and kitchen, and it will also have two guest rooms. The first guest room is actually a big guest room. When the kids have their classmates over or when there is a big party, they can accommodate multiple guests. You can actually put their beds for 10 people, I think. It has its own view of the mountain. And there will be also their own toilet and bath. The other guest room will be for a private guest room. It can accommodate two single beds or a twin bed. It will be for a special guest or maybe for the parents of the owner. Can be like that. This one is, I think, is functional in real life. We can say that in the floor plan of this house. For the doors of the lower floor, I wanted it to open up towards the swimming pool. I made my own kind of folding doors using this floor to ceiling windows in The Sims 4, which turned out really well. I really wanted to open up this space because when there are parties, I think it will really look good. And also to maximize that open planning kind of thing, which I really like, and also the indoor and outdoor connection, which I always do in the houses that I plan. I have this comment for the doors and windows of The Sims 4. I don't know why The Sims is making doors that don't fit the windows. I, here is this door that is really cool, this sliding door, and then there's this window. The window is a floor to ceiling glass window, but then the sliding door, which I wanted it to really fit, doesn't fit. So I just used this door for like medium or tall walls, but it actually exceeded the floor. It is exposed on the upper floor. I just didn't mind it. I'm just gonna cover it up with plants when I am landscaping this build. That's just a downside for The Sims 4. I saw this house in Instagram, the house of the travel vlogger that I am following. It was really beautiful. It is in Bali. It is set in the paradise in Bali, in the middle of a farmland, I think. Her house has this really beautiful vines from tropical landscapes. I really wanted to find something like this here in The Sims 4 base game. I actually found something. I think I saw it in the Jungle Adventure Pack, but I don't have it. I only have the base game. So I searched for something in the debug items. I saw this these vines that have flowers on them but they are actually dark and so messy for me this is not what i'm trying to achieve for this landscaping so as the video progresses you will see that i eliminated some of it some of this vines because it was too messy for me because I am also aiming for that clean slick looking but still elegant playful build but I actually like that. 
this build, if it is in real life, it will take up much the carbon footprint that we call, which is harmful for the earth, for our environment. But actually, with the green roof design of this, it will fill on that. It will regenerate. It will be a solution. I think this is actually an eco-friendly house, in my opinion. Each of the floor, like the level 1 and level 2, will have their own garden, which is actually the roof of the lower floor. We have this massive outdoor area, the outdoor pool, which is leading to the beach. The owner of this house owns that part of the beach, so it is exclusive to them, which I really think is a, really a dream. For the landscaping of the green roof, I have opted for this mixed coastal and tropical and the desert landscaping. It is what the world here shows and it really blends with the mountains. I am really aiming for this almost all green kind of landscaping without the very colorful flowers. I just chose this perennial which is a coastal grass with this less saturated pink on it and this like blue spots on the vines. It really looks good for me. I like unsaturated colors and just neutral colors especially when landscaping. And you will see here that I am already placing these trees on the mountains. I chose these pine trees because I really wanted that twilight feel. And I actually have seen mountains, mountains in tropical countries that have this kind of pine trees. I also saw pine trees in beaches here in the Philippines, so I think it is feasible and realistic. But here in The Sims 4, we only have this kind of pine trees. So I just use them. I really like that there is a pine tree from the Willow Creek world, which is a very good looking. It has this perfect cone shape. And then this other pine tree, which is like a withered one with a less saturated green. I think it is from the Oasis Spring world. I like that they pair each other really well. So I just mix and match them here for the landscaping of the mountains. You will see here, if you didn't know, there is a trick that I'm doing to place objects and plants and trees on terrains very easily. What you will do first is you put a foundation first on the, on the part of the terrain that you want to put an object on and then you place the object. After you have placed it, you will just pull or push the foundation for you to be able to remove the foundation. Or you can just not remove it if it is not visible, if the object that you have placed is covering it. Here, I wanted to eliminate it, but some of the foundations I didn't because they are not actually an eyesore. But for the rocks, you will see that you will have to put a bigger foundation, like a longer foundation with an excess, aside from the objects that you have placed, because you needed that excess foundation to remove the foundation all around. If you didn't remove the foundation, you will see here that it deforms the terrain. You will not like that. You got to have this excess to eliminate the foundation later on. You will see it here. And I was really happy that I discovered this trick. I don't think if you know this already, guys, but I was so happy that I discovered this trick by myself because I, at first I was really struggling to build on turn because it was my first time. It was an achievement for me, really. <laughs> By the way, these rocks are from the debug items from this Oasis Spring World, if you just don't know. Actually, all of the landscaping or most of the landscaping objects that I used for this build are actually from the debug items, so they didn't add to the cost of this build. And if you also don't know if you will be asking, the cars and the other vehicles like this very cool sports car and the pickup trucks are also from the debug items. You can find them if you will turn on the cheats using the Control shift c testing cheats through and then you are gonna type BB show live edit objects and BB show hidden objects. 
And of course, you have to turn on the BB Move objects if you are gonna place this lot in your gallery. You can see the gallery link and my origin ID in the description of this video below. I hope you will like it. And also, this is only the exterior and the landscaping. It is only a shell build, so you can actually go on, design your own interiors using the shell. I hope you can comment if you have downloaded it and you have made your own interior so that I can see them. I want to see your designs for this shell. I hope you will like it. It is a very spacious and you can do a lot of things here. You can also add your own entertainment room or you can add a additional floor and that will be the basement. You can add some gym room or some skills and activities room. I hope you will like the build. I think it will be very enjoyable to play in The Sims 4 because I also like to play it. Actually, my previous build, the treehouse, I had a lot of fun playing it, so I hope you did too. I hope you can follow me in The Sims Gallery so that you can see my builds, my uploaded builds. And I have a build there, my first speed build. You have to click the include custom content so that you will be able to see it. It is really also good. The custom contents that I've used there are really awesome. They really look good. <laughs> so I hope you can download it in the gallery. I hope you can design your own interior with this shell. As I have said, you can also put this slot in the Solani world in the Alan Living Pack. I think it will really look good. And you can also place a bonfire here if you have something like that. And actually, you can replace this little pool on the lower part. You can replace it with a jacuzzi. But here, I opted for this square pool because I wanted the design to be more slick, geometrical looking. Just a straightforward build. The volumes of the building, of the floors that I made, are just simple shapes. So I wanted it to not have those curves in the build. But I just wanted the curves to be in the landscaping so that it will look natural. And I think it really blends. I think they really blend well with the surroundings. So I'm just going to talk about the interiors for this build. The interior for this one is actually, I'm aiming to achieve something like a Japanese slick design. Like a brutalist design with a minimalist interior with these beautiful exposed rocks from the mountains. But then I have limited furniture and I think I went to another way in designing this house. But there are actually custom content. I'm not gonna spoil a lot of this, a lot of the design of the interiors because I don't want to spoil you guys. So I hope you can watch out for the video of the interior design of this house. On the clips of this video, like on the cinematics, you will see some easter egg about the interior of this house. I really like the interior, so I hope you can watch out for that. For this build, I just placed some outdoor furniture to elevate the design of the outdoors. So I placed here a yacht because I think the owner of this house, which is a businessman, really is booming in the furniture industry. So he was able to afford this yacht, which I really like that I placed it. It really complements the, the beach vibe that I want in this build. And of course, I also placed this lounge chairs and this barbecue grill. <laughs> As I said, I really like barbecues. And it will be very good for parties and outdoor events or so on in The Sims 4. And I also placed this yoga mat looking for some pool yoga sessions. There is a radio. I also place these picnic mats, which are very good. You can place a bonfire there while your sims are going on a picnic. I think it can be in the outdoor retreat pack or something like that. It will really look cool. Like you are in your dream vacation home or your dream home. 
it really looks good. Then you have this view of the ocean, and you have the view of the mountains on the other side, which your house complements. So it really looks good. I think it is awesome. And about the lights, I am actually always forgetting about placing the lights here in The Sims 4 when I am doing my builds. But actually about these lights, it is very important in architecture. Because the lights act as the makeup of the house. Because at night, when it is very dark, you will not be able to see the beauty of the house without the lighting. The lighting plays a very big role in architecture and design. And of course, not only at night, even at daylight, it will be a big impact because it can affect the sense of place and the overall design of the house. In our designs, in architecture, we always incorporate natural daylight because it is the most advisable and most practical way and also most beautiful of all the lights that we have here. So just some finishing touches here. I hope you like this build. It is really important to me. I have shared a lot of my ideas and my ideals here. Some of this design are my personal favorites in a house. I hope you like this build because I really worked hard on it. I hope you can watch my other builds like this video. And I hope you can subscribe to my channel and help me grow. If you have any suggestions or build requests, if you want me to build something or any comments or thoughts about this build, feel free to go on the comment section below. <laughs> I think we are done here. I hope to see you again in my next video. I hope you enjoy this. Thumbs up if you do and watch out for the interior of this build and see you guys next time. So, bye-bye!